today in this video we will find owner of any domain address any email address of uh, of any domain so now for that we have here first we go here on the top left side you can see this window here three dots and we click there and here you have new so i'm going to click here new so new means i want a space i want a blank space a, a workspace where i can create my graph so that in this case actually new means we are going to launch a new graph when i click here it should show you the uh, new graph here so you can see it's, it is showing that new graph is being loaded on our screen and uh, in this graph um, on the left hand side you can see we have this um, entity palette so in this entity palette means we can have uh, all the entities or the information and that can, information can be about people that information can be about phone number email addresses dns lot of information and these entities are grouped like this so first like grouping is uh, cryptocurrency then we have devices and then we have a grouping in events and this is groups so these all are actually entities and for today's video we will uh, explore this infrastructure and in this infrastructure we have entities of as that is internet autonomous system and then we have banner and if we scroll down here you can see we have net block and then cpe cve dns and today we are going to explore maybe taking domain so it means we drag and drop this entity so i'm going to drag and drop domain entity here graph and now in this domain we need to give the domain which we want um, or whose relationship we want to find out so let's see what this means so now at, at the moment they have selected some some web, some website some domain which we are not interested in let's say we let's say our we can have any any domain which we want to explore let's say we are going to see domain g and u dot org so let's say this is the website this is the domain we want to explore and then we press enter and to edit this information just we need to double click and then you can edit or you can maybe double click here and a new window appears and here you can also add this domain name so now it means this is the domain and for this domain we are interested in finding out the owner let's say owner's email address or the administrator's email address so for that uh, we have selected this domain and when this uh, icon is selected we right click and when we right click you can see it shows different transforms so the transforms are the function which will be giving us a relationship of this entity so this entity is the domain name to the relationship of this domain with other stuff so other stuff we can select any other steps too so we at the moment let's say we are selecting that we are only interested in in finding a related email address and that email address should be related with this domain so now we can select only this or maybe we can also click on all transform if we select all transform it means these all related entities will be shown as a graph but let's say we are only interested in finding out email address so just click here just beside that email address you can see this rank all and then we click here and when we click here it should start running the transform to email address so now you can see here it has uh, given us all the related email address which are related with this domain so gnu.org you can see so these all are the email addresses which are related with this and this tool has searched all the related email and it has shown us all those email addresses as a relation on a graph so you can interesting to see if you, you can find all these email addresses so in this case we only use one transform that was two email address and uh, and we can also like we can also and yes these this is actually known as parent and these all entities can, can also be referred as child entities and the parent entities and uh, we can also like we can extract some phone number using uh, some other transform set so let's say i'm going to click again on this one same entity or maybe if i launch a new graph a new graph can also be launched from this one you can see this plus sign on top here so create a new graph 
in a new block we are going to select again a domain and in this domain let's say we can use any again same let's say gmu so double click there and then you type here the domain name once you have selected domain name and if now if you want to find out uh, phone numbers and we can also do like this here as well and we can also do it like this but let's say i'm showing here so again click right click sorry and here we have different uh, transform set and to search for a specific transform set we can type there like we have phone number and now we click two phone numbers from us information so it may be it will be sending query to us and then it will show us the phone number so i'm going to run this transform to find out phone number related with gmu so relationship with this one and now you can see here it has started transform and it has given us this phone number which is related with gmu and if you want to find out for example if you want to find out relationship with this phone number then we can right click here and here we can see what we can find out here more information we can find two phone number look up phone number and verify and call so these all things are possible with that and uh, we can also use like subdomains so again if we go back here or, or maybe if you just on the same one so we can also find subdomains of this domain so for that we again click on this domain and right click there and then uh, to find out uh, subdomain we can say dns name so we can search for dns and we can see it shows that uh, two dns name so we can see these are different dns records like mail server name server but we are saying clicking on the first option the interesting one and we click there and when we click there it says it has started this uh, transform and now see after some time it has completed its search and now you can see all the subdomains of this domain so that's gmu.org and as a result you can see all these subdomains web.mail.us.gmu.org and you can see gmu.org gmu.org so all subdomains uh, have been displayed which are related with this gmu and this is done by transform and transform is is like a program which is mapping or which is showing us relationship and this is done uh, transform actually sends queries to different uh, data sets and then gives us a result so this is how we can find out the subdomains and maybe last one last thing that if we want to find out the ip addresses this is also possible to find out ip addresses and for that let's say we select all these subdomains and we can select all these subdomains like this all subdomains have been let's say maybe only this one and then we here right click and here we, we say ip and you can see ip address domain so we just click there and now it will start this transform and it should give us the ip addresses associated with all these subdomains and you can see now this graph is getting bigger and bigger but you can see for this domain we have shown this is giving us this this i mean ip address you can see here so now this ip address is associated with this or linked with that uh, subdomain and this subdomain is linked with this uh, domain so you can see how interesting this is that how this is collecting this all information which is publicly available and collecting this all information from different resources and giving us this result in a graphical format so you can see the use of this amazing tool by which we can have, uh, we can perform our first phase of uh, pen testing that is information gathering phase or open source intelligence and now if you want to change the layout of this graph and you can see this is the overview on the right hand side and this is also interesting that if you want to change the layout of this graph that is also possible let's say if we click on here you can see now the shape or the layout of graph is changed and if you just hover over there you can read out so this set layout mode to circular so now hopefully this will be converted into circular and then if you uh, zoom in you can have all this information in circular way and also you can see this is how you can change it and uh, i think that's it uh, for this video so we just uh, uh, showed you briefly that how this tool can be used to represent or to show us 
a relationship among different entities and those entities can be email addresses, phone numbers, uh, DNS names, and a lot of other things. Uh, so entity, uh, you can see this here, here palette, and this palette you can see what we can find out. Going from bitcoins to devices, company, banner, so all them, all of them can be used in entity, just we need to drink at there here. Uh, so maybe, yes, yes, I mean, you, you got the idea, you just have to click here, you have new draft, click here, IP address, give any IP address, run this transform set, let's say in this one, I'm going to run all these one, so I, let's say if I run this one, all transform, and maybe we say run, and it will give you all transform, and it may take some time, because this time I have selected all these transform, and it will give us a lot of information about that particular IP address, uh, so in this case, maybe if you want some other IP address, you just double click here and you can change the IP address and you can have all the information associated with the IP address here in this graphical format. So that's it. And uh, yes, last point, maybe if you want to save it, yes, of course, you can save it. We just click here on top uh, and left. And then you can see we have this save, and save all, save and save as. So you can save it and then re you can also retrieve later on. So thank you, thank you guys uh, for your time. And if this would be interesting, then we can yeah, make some other videos on the same topic as well. Uh, but again, thank you, thank you very much. See you in some other video.